Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going to be taking a look at Christmas cards. We did this last year. I bought a pack of 30 handmade Christmas cards at Costco and each card was wrapped individually in this clear crinkly cellophane and we enjoyed a lot of good crinkles as we enjoyed and, and looked at each one of those cards and they're all different. Each one is different so it's really cool. And I also this year I got another box of those 30 cards and I hope they're different. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember what all the cards last year looked like. But they are just, they, this is a little band thing that was on it. It has on here that they are handcrafted holiday cards with coordinating self-sealing envelopes. They look different to me. But then again, like I said, I don't remember exactly what they looked like last year. These cards were on sale today. I think the normal price was $18.99. They were only $14.99 and, and they come in this really nice box. This box is wonderful. It's about the size of a shoe box, although it's a little lower. So you get 30 cards for $15 plus tax. That was actually a great deal. I also picked up some special little cards from Aldi. Now last year, Aldi had cards that were 99 cents each. They were also wrapped in cellophane. I have not, I haven't seen any like that this year. But they had these little pop-up cards. They're like little fold-out cards. These were $1.99 each. The funny thing is, okay, they had eight of them. They were $2 each, so these eight cards were more expensive than the big box of cards from Costco. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. There was one card in particular in here that I saw that I had to have. I know you will know it when you see it. It's mixed in here somewhere. And I bet you can't guess why I liked it. So we're going to look at those. Let's start with the Aldi cards. Now I'm not going to be removing them from the cellophane. We're actually going to leave them in the cellophane for now. And we're just going to take a look at them. And you can see on the back of these fold-out cards what they're going to look like. So I'm going to show you each of these cards. And I'm going to describe them to you. <laughs> oh, I, I love Christmas cards. I, um, I have a big list of cards that I send out every year and it's just always so much fun. I like to take like a Saturday afternoon and sit down with my list and, and my cards and I always try to pick out cards that make me happy. I sit down with my little Christmas stamps and my cards and write them out. It's just, I enjoy doing it. Now this first card, you will see here, um, this is just like plain white. They're all going to look like that for the Aldi cards because these cards fold out. So when you open it up, you can actually fold it out and it kind of looks 3D. And when you fold it out, you can see that it looks like we have our three stockings hanging above the fireplace. And when you fold it out, it looks like there are a bunch of presents on the floor. So it's going to look like it's, it has depth to it. So that's really cute. And the message inside is deck the halls and spread the love. So that message is actually going to be on the back of the fold-out card. That way when it's displayed, that message is going to appear on the back of the card. So that's our first card. Ah, oh, this one's really cute. So here you can see part of the design. You can see some ice skates up there and a sled and a pretty little tree. And here it is on the back. Oh, that's so cute. It's it's um like a little snowy step. And it says, good tidings we bring. And on the back of the card it says, may you have peace in your heart and joy in your soul all year long. And there are even some little, little illustrations on the back. It looks like you have a little pair of mittens hanging there and so a little present down here at the bottom. I like the ice skates. That's very cute. 
This next one is quite adventurous. It's uh, a carousel. Look, it's a pretty carousel and it has uh, a llama and a dinosaur and a unicorn. Look, all on the carousel. So when you fold it out, it's going to look like some of the little, the little figures on the carousel are a little closer to you than the others to give it that nice 3D effect. This one is very colorful. Look, and you have that nice pretty red metallic on the umbrella above it. The message on the back says, may your Christmas be full of love, joy, laughter, and magic. <laughs> oh, I love carousels. It kind of reminds me of the little ones they used to have in front of Kmart. Even this little, little coin operated, little small rides they had that never seemed to work right. Oh, we have a captive village. Somebody caught a village and put it in a jar. <laughs> They put it in a mason jar. So it has, look at this, it has four pretty houses on a snowy hill. And you can't really see it here, but there's a little fence that runs down the side of the hill. I don't really know why they're in a mason jar. But I don't see anybody complaining, so it must be all right in there. My question is, how did the snow get in there? How do they get out to go to the store? I reckon they're going to starve. When you fold it out, it's going to look like some of these houses are a little bit closer. They're, they're going to kind of approach you a bit, like they're coming out of the jar. And up on the top of the jar, there's a little tag. And it's tied up there with a green metallic bow. It says, let it snow. And on the back it says, may you find yourself wrapped in cozy this Christmas. And there's a pretty Christmas tree drawn down in the corner on the back. I do like the fact that these cards have bits of this metallic color that you can see when it hits the light just right. It's very pretty. Oh, we have, um, looks like we have people with a bunch of books. Look, I thought they were carolers at first because they were all holding books. And I thought it was like hymnals or something, but no. We have their little gnomes. And they have books. Um, we have one called the Cookie Caper. I thought it said the Cootie Caper at first. It's good. I have eye strain. I've been working all day in front of a computer. The Magical Christmas Adventure. Holly Jollies. Believe. Ned the Gnome. Naughty something. It's covered up by the thing. I don't know what that is. Gnome for the Holidays. It's probably Naughty Gnomes. Which you probably shouldn't Google because only there's no telling what'll come up. But as you fold it out, it's going to look like these little gnomes in the front are a little bit closer to you. And this part is going to fold down like that. And it's going to be actually that this part here is going to be the base and that's going to hold it up. And on the back it says, here's to a house filled with love and warmth this holiday season. We have our little toadstool house drawn on the back of, the, of this little card. And a gnome down here reading a book. He's probably reading naughty gnomes. He's all by himself. We can't see what he's doing with his other hand. And this one might be why I like these cards. Do you see anything here that looks like something I might like? This is the card that I was drawn to. My eyes were drawn to this card. Can you see why? I feel like Dora the Explorer, the way she would ask you a question and then wait for you to answer it. No, there's a Volkswagen bus. Look, I saw that Volkswagen bus. I said, oh, I have to have that card. And it has this pretty red metallic shininess to it. And it has a Christmas tree on top. I love this card. And there's Santa waving at you out of a, out, out of a car. It kind of looks like a little beetle a little bit. And when you fold it out, Santa's going to be a little closer to you. But that's my favorite, the little Volkswagen bus on this card. On the back it says, here's to a season filled with little joys and fun memories. And on the back we have a little picture of a lantern, like a little lamp post with little presents down at the bottom. And you can see other traffic going by. There's a, somebody on a bicycle. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, now this one looks like fun. Look, these, a bunch of people are out having fun in the snow. 
We have people skiing, pulling a sled with a Christmas tree on it, building a snowman. Look at, look at all the fun they're having in the snow. And now when you fold it out, it looks like there are three people down here, and you can't see it. But they're holding up a banner that says Merry Christmas. So when you fold it out, they're going to be closest to you holding their little Merry Christmas banner. And on the back it says, Love and Joy to You This Season. Oh, that one looks like a lot of fun. We don't get a lot of snow here, but I tell you, when we do, people take full advantage of it. Everybody gets out. Well, not everybody, but you have to get to hurry up and get out and play in it because normally it doesn't last very long. It melts away. That's the kind of snow I like. I spent one winter about 60 miles north of Chicago, and that snow doesn't melt for the longest time. And it just keeps falling because you have those lake effect snows. I didn't care if I never saw snow again after spending one winter up there. That snow, just you just have l big lumpy piles of gray snow everywhere. And you can't get grits anywhere. And they don't have cheer wine. I mean, why would anybody live there? They don't even have Biscuitville. I had to come home. And then, well, there was a whole cult thing. But maybe, maybe it was mainly the Biscuitville and the cheer wine. I don't know. Look at this one. We have our truck tree. That's what I call it. We, you see this truck in a lot of decorations around the holidays. Um, I've started seeing it at Valentine's Day and Easter. And they put different things in the back of the truck for the whatever holiday it is. Of course, for Christmas, you're going to see a little Christmas tree back there. Normally, it's a little more erect. Must not be a very exciting day. But it's pretty. It looks like they're leaving the Christmas tree lot and they have their little Christmas tree and they're going to go home and put it up. Now when you fold it out, there's a little thing right here that says deck the halls. Now that's going to appear down here so it's going to look like it's kind of in front of the truck. Now on the back it says, here's to a house full of merriment this Christmas. And it's red. The back of this card is red. And it has a little row of Christmas trees down here. I like that one. Now all of these cards are by Pembroke. Typically, if you see cards at Aldi, they're going to be Pembroke cards. Um, sometimes they do sell box sets of cards. Um, but these were loose. These were $1.99 each, like I mentioned. And these were all of the designs. This was one of each of the eight designs that they had. Um, they may still get the 99 cent cards, but at least at my Aldi so far, I haven't seen any. So all they had were these $1.99 fold-out cards. So that's my Aldi cards. And so far, that's all they've had for cards. Now, mm. we have this box, this cool box of cards. And I haven't looked at them yet. So I, I had looked at those, but now we're going to look at these, and they they should all be different. So I don't think there are duplicates. Okay, and this this box is wonderful. It's super sturdy. I actually still have the one from last year. I keep all my receipts in it. It's the perfect size. It's not too big or too small. Now. They call these handmade cards because there, are, with each card, typically there are like little decorations glued to the cards, and so it's just it's not like hand drawn or anything like that. It's just little stuff has been stuck to the cards. Ooh, and each one kind of has a different motif, like a different style to it, which is really cool. You can kind of customize your cards if you want to. You know, if some people like more bold colors, you might want to send them this one. Look, this one is a lot of fun. You have this black background, and here and there, we have these rhinestones stuck to the card. And it says, best holiday ever. And these these pieces here, if you, you can't really see it here, but on the back is a small square of foam with adhesive on either side and they use the foam to affix these pieces to the card and it makes them stand out a little bit from the card so they're not just flat to the card and then you have these rhinestones that are just affixed to the card 
And look at the envelope. Even the envelope is beautiful. And my, that is part of my regional dialect. I was told I mispronounced that word. Where I grew up, people say envelope. That's how they say it. Just a random thing. I think it came up, it might have come up last year in the Christmas card video. I was showing envelopes or something. And somebody said I said it wrong. Well, no. I like the stripes. Look at the pretty stripes. Pretty greens and blues. And then you have this big silver stripe right across the top of the, the flap of the envelope. Now these, these cards, if you get these, you have to keep in mind. And what I do with these, they may require extra postage because of the thickness of the card or you know the, the measurement of it. And if you take them to the post office, they will check them for you to see if it needs extra postage. And it's also based on weight. Um, last year, I think out of the box I had last year, I think only a couple needed extra postage. The rest of them were okay. Um, but of course that can change from year to year. Oh my goodness. For a second I thought I thought Santa was in trouble. Look at this one. I thought he was in jail. N what is Santa doing? Look. Is he afloat? You know, like one of those big Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade floats with, you know, they have to hold them down. The big balloons. Santa is flying. He has silver strings. He's like one of the big balloons in the Macy's Christmas or the Thanksgiving Parade. And it is, too. I just read the message on the back. That is what he's doing. He's, he's flying high. And on the back, it says, Santa's flying high to bring you loads of holiday fun. Santa's high as a kite. Look at him. He's so high, you gotta tie him down. Ooh, and down here, these pieces are all, are all attached separately. And it's a little banner that says, Merry Christmas. And on the back, look, it has the, the same banner across the top of the flap of the envelope. And it says, Merry Christmas. I love the fact that each one of these cards has a matching envelope. It's so cool. I love that pretty lavender color. It's beautiful. And Santa looks so happy. These are actual strings that are attached to Santa. And then these pieces are attached separately to give it a more 3D kind of look to it. So it kind of sticks out from the card. You might be able to see a little bit how it kind of sticks out away from the card a little bit. And again, that's going to make it thicker when you put it in the envelope. So they have to check it at the post office to see if you need extra postage or not. But again, last year, most they said most of them were fine. So, But I wanted to make sure and check so I knew they would get where they were going and postage would not be a problem. Oh, look. Look at the little creatures. The little creatures in the tree. Oh, we have, what do we have? A monkey, a panda, a koala, and a sloth. Look at them. They have their little Christmas hats and scarves on. Somebody knitted them some hats and scarves. Oh, and there's a little cardinal, too. Now, these pieces here are foam that are attached to the card. It's like just a little sticker stuck to the card. And it even has kind of like a frame around it that has glitter on it. So this piece is separate too. So it's like the whole picture is a frame. That'd be really cute. You could put that up like in a little frame. I think that would be really cute. So we have all these happy little animals. Look, they're smiling at us. On the back, um, it tells you what the card says. And this card on the inside says, Warm and friendly greetings for a Merry Christmas. And on the back, we have the koala again here with the little, the little cardinal right there too. And the top of the envelope is red with a stripe here of this pretty iridescent glitter and then red again up under that. That one is so cute. Oh my gosh. I have a friend that loves, she collects anything with monkeys on it. She's a teacher and her, her, you know, in her classroom it's decorated with like monkeys on everything because she loves monkeys. She'd love that card. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I like that one. Let's see. 
Ooh, this one's very green. I like this one. Ooh, wow. Very, very cool. Now this one has shutters that are attached separately to the card. Wow. And we have peeking through a frosty window. We have a polar bear inside. It got so cold the polar bear the polar bear had to come in. And it looks like he's burning a candle or something down here. And he's smiling. He's probably nice and toasty in there. And it's chilly outside. It looks like we have some little bushes down here with a little row of green glitter on them. This is attached separately as well. Oh, and then we have the little, little decorative bit above the window. A soffit, I believe it's called. And the message on the inside says, Hoping your holidays are warm and cozy. Very cute, happy little polar bear. Oh no, that's not a candle. I think it's actually a cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows in it. It looked like it looked like it had a lot of little flames and it was smoking, but I think it's actually a cup of hot cocoa or something. And on the back, you can see the pretty design up here. Ooh, and it has this purple metallic, like a trim, um, down here on the container for the little plants. That's a pretty card. I like that. I like all of them. Ooh, look at that one. Wow, red glitter. Now this one has cut a cutout. And then it has, ooh, these are little thin laser cut um, snowflakes. Look at them, that's nice. And it has a cutout here, it's like a laser cut. It's very cool, it says frosty winter days, warm holiday hearts. This is pretty, that is very pretty. And on the inside it says, May you be surrounded by family and friends during this holiday season. And on the back of the envelope here, you can see that it's red with little white snowflakes on it. And then we have a band up here. This is actually red glitter, like the background for the words on the front. It's red glitter. And then above that, it's white and then a little bit more red up here. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I like all that red glitter. It's just so festive. Oh, the snowman's been shopping. Look at him. He's been shopping. I don't know how he wrapped presents with those stick hands, but I, I would have paid to see that. That was interesting, I bet. He's ready for Christmas. He's got all his little presents here and his little carrot nose. And again, we have these little laser cut. This is very thin paperboard or balsa wood perhaps making these little snowflakes and the snowman's outside and he's enjoying a pretty day looks like it might be snowing a little bit of course we have the big snowflakes up here and the message on the inside says wishing you the best and brightest holiday season now you will notice that some cards are oriented this way portrait some are oriented this way, landscape. Each one is a little different, so I really love how different all these cards are. That's so cute. Yeah, so on the back we have again little white snowflakes. The background is light blue, just like the background on the card. And we have a, a border here of this metallic red stripe. It's like on a, the, the stripes on a candy cane, kind of. And then just white above that and light blue. Neat. <gasps> Ooh. This one features rhinestones. And we have ice skating reindeer. Oh, it's so sparkly. And down here we have our little, it's a little penguin with his applause sign. Oh, they're putting on a show. You can see the lights up here and the curtains are pulled back. They're, they're putting on a show for us. Look at these reindeer. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and you can see the TV camera too. So maybe they're on TV right now. 
and we're getting to see maybe this is the finale and that's why we have to applaud now and the message on the inside says hope your holidays are stacked with fun <laughs> very cute and then you see that reindeer again four of them on the back the fifth one fell and broke his back and he's in the ER now so we only get to see four of them and the background is blue with a red trim around the top of this envelope happy little ice skating reindeer although it's funny actually if you look at their feet you know what they're not ice skating okay I'm I'm wrong for some reason I thought this was ice because it well it looks like ice you see it's kind of silver but if you notice they're not wearing ice skates I just assumed it was it looked like they were on ice this looks like they're just wearing regular shoes I don't reckon it matters but I guess they're just dancing they're not on ice they're just they're just dancing they're just putting on a show but not on ice that's somehow less impressive but it's still cool the next card ooh this one's neat now this one has multiple multiple layers of things attached to it this wreath is attached separately and attached to that wreath we have a little red satin ribbon and the tree the Christmas tree is more than one layer to give it that nice 3d effect and all the on the layers of the tree we have these red rhinestones look at that very pretty I love that front door it looks so warm and welcoming and then around here Oh, that's the envelope. I was gonna say it looked like bricks. On the lantern, it looks like there's a little cardinal up there. This is just a nice, warm, welcoming looking card. And the message on the inside says, wishing you happiness this holiday season and throughout the coming year. Yeah, the card, actually the envelope is beautiful. Look, it's like a plaid in red, green, and white very pretty and then there's on the flap there's silver there's a silver bit going across the bottom that's just a nice cozy looking little card I don't know which one's my favorite I haven't really I haven't really found one yet they're all cool this one is thick gosh this one wow this one is super heavy for some reason like it Look at that. Look at all the layers. I think this is one of the fold-out cards, uh, like the ones from Aldi, only larger and a little bit more involved. This one is, yeah, this one is definitely going to take extra postage. But we have little singing penguins, and it looks like, okay, so here it says Happy Holidays, but it looks like you're going to fold this out somehow, and then you're going to have a bunch of caroling penguins in top hats singing to you by the lamp post. Now this card actually is blank inside, so you can write your own message. I'm not really sure why, you know what, it's probably blank because it's one of those that folds out. So unlike the Aldi cards, they didn't put anything on the back because you're not really going to look at the back anyway. They just left it blank, but it does of course come with an envelope so you can mail it to your intended recipient. It's a really pretty blue envelope. And up at the top, it's kind of obscured a little bit, but it says Happy Holidays up here in this rectangle. That's the top flap of the envelope. Oh, this one has a monocle. Look, isn't he special? Isn't he special? This joker is heavy. This thing is twice as heavy as the others. Yeah, that one's going to need postage. Oh, now this one is really pretty. I like this one. Look at this one features a wreath on it. That's just beautiful. And then for the little berries, it has these red little shiny, they're not really rhinestones. They're like just small bead stickers kind of, but they're attached separately to the card. And we have a beautiful plaid bow and a wooden heart in the middle that says joy in white letters. 
very pretty. And up at the top and down here at the bottom, we have this beautiful red metallic stripe up here and down here. And the background is kind of made to look like wood, like maybe it's on a, a wall, like the side of a house or a fence or something. The message on the inside of this card says, May every joy be yours this holiday season. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's beautiful. I really like it. Some of these leaves are attached separately. They are foam and they stick out a bit from the, uh, the card. I think that one's my favorite so far. Which way is up? Okay, this one is neat. Look at this one. It's made to look like bubble gum machines. It's little bubble gum machines and they dispense Christmas themed treats. They have like little candies, like little peppermints. These look like little snow globes here. And little Santa and snowman ornaments and little gumballs in Christmas colors. And the background is just plain red. The border around it is kind of silver. That's cute. I've never seen a Christmas card with gumball machines on it before. That's kind of a shame. I had a friend many years ago who his job was to um, service gumball machines like all over the state. <laughs> it's a very interesting job. That's what he did. He would love this card. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've lost touch with him, but I mean, that ah, he would love that. But yeah, on the back, look at on the flap of the envelope, we have again the four gumball machines. And down at the bottom, we have, it looks like some of the things from the gumball machines have spilled out along the bottom. And the bottom of the envelope is light blue. Oh, I didn't read the card. I'm going to tell you what it says. The sweetest moments of the season are the ones we share. Happy holidays. Aww. Oh, and it has in the background blue glitter in the background of all of these uh, gumball machines. Interesting. I've never seen gumball machines on a Christmas card. That's really neat. What is Santa up to? Santa's like a beatnik or something. I don't know. He's having his coffee. He's got his bicycle here. Oh, he's got a dog with rain, with reindeer antlers on, like Max from How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Looks like he's been doing some shopping. He's got his little green shopping bag there. Is he sipping espresso? Is that what that is? His little tiny cup. And he's got his shades on. He's in front of the coffee shop. I wonder if he can drink his coffee in peace or if people bother him the entire time telling him what they want for Christmas. I don't know. But we have lights going along the top of the awning up here. And he's just ready to go. Oh, and there are little rhinestone accents on the bicycle right up here and here and back here to make it extra shiny. And the message inside says, even Santa has to chill a little. Hope your holidays are relaxing. Oh, that's cute. And then on the back, we have basically the scene without Santa. We have the bicycle and the table, but the dog and Santa are not there. He has been abducted by aliens and they took the dog too. But so, and the awning is on the, the flap of the envelope that way. <laughs> it's kind of hard to look at a mirror, a mirror image of yourself and do that. I just found my favorite card. I just, I didn't, I didn't see these beforehand. I didn't know what any of these looked like. I literally just ran into Costco this morning and bought these and did not look at them. If you saw my Everyday Mary channel video that I just posted earlier, I discussed my trip to Costco and some other stuff. I just found my favorite card. I don't think we're going to find one that beats this one. Can you guess why it's my favorite? It is a Volkswagen bus card. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I want to keep this and put it in a frame. I'm not going to, but I kind of want to. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at, we have all these presents on top of the bus 
and a Christmas tree that somehow already has ornaments on it. Oh, I love it so much. I love that it's just the only thing basically in the, on, the, on the front of this card. All you have to look at is the bus. And it's perfect. It's perfectly suitable for framing. This entire thing is a solid piece and it is attached separately to the card so it sticks out a little bit. And it has this pretty holographic border all the way around it. It's rectangular. And the message on the inside says, hoping that your Christmas holds all you ever wished for. It's like they made this card for me. It's like they knew I was going to get these cards. All you ever wished for. <laughs> oh, wow. That is amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Now the envelope is brown. It's kind of like the color of a brown paper bag. And then it again has that holographic strip across there. That's my favorite card. I don't think I'm going to find one that I like more than that one. That's, that's awesome. And this card's down here. Like, how am I supposed to follow that? It's okay. Gosh, this one's heavy too. Look at this one. Oh, Santa's making snow angels. He's down in the snow. Oh, this is fur. It's like fake fur for his coat. And it's attached to his little coat. And this part is like a cutout. And he's making his snow angels. And above him, there's a red banner that says Happy Holidays. And this is attached separately, too. This is a separate piece here. <laughs> oh, and you look at this down here. There's a little tab, and it says pull. And that will make Santa's arms and legs go out like he's making his snow angel. So you can just pull the little tab and make him make it snow angels. That is really cute. And it says, Santa says you've been an angel this year. Enjoy. <laughs> that is adorable. And then on the back, you can see Santa again making his little snow angel. And across the flap of the envelope, we have the banner again saying Happy Holidays. And it looks like it's snowing still. It's like snow. He looks very happy. He's got little green mittens on. So it's like a little action figure for Christmas. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one looks kind of vintage. Look at this one. Do you remember those little, um, I, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. And sometimes people would give you like those little plastic mesh stockings and they would have like weird candy in it and stuff, you know, just like little, little t cheap toys and stuff like little plastic toys and things. Yeah. And they look just like this and they had that red and white border around them like that. I don't, I don't think you can still get those. I, I haven't seen one of those in forever, but I, I remember like it would be something like an aunt or an uncle or somebody would give me it at our family Christmas party or something like they would have a bunch of these for all the the kids and the grandkids you know and they would just hand them out they would just give us all one of these <laughs> yeah and they look just like that and they have a little tab up here at the top like you were gonna hang it up and we would all go sit somewhere and open them up and eat the candy and look at all the stuff inside and trade stuff and oh it was fun so it looks like this one's full of little peppermints and maybe a candy cane. And it even has the, the, the like the plastic webbings, like mesh stuff that the stocking was made of. And it would be sealed off at the top and it would be stapled. You'd have to pull it open. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a fun memory. I hadn't thought about that in a long time. And the message on the inside of this card says, hope, hope your stocking is full this year. Merry Christmas. Oh, and on the back, it's a pretty light green. And we have Santa up here. And it says Merry Christmas, kind of in a, like a vintage font. Like it just kind of looks old fashioned. Just like this right here. This is attached separately. Oh, wow. That brings back memories I haven't. I haven't thought of it in a long time. Okay. We are now on the second side. Oh, I like this one. Look, it has cozy little mittens here. 
here and some hats and a little Santa hat. These are attached separately and they're going to have the little foam piece between this, this picture, the little item in the card. And it says, ho, 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 let it snow. Oh, and an ice skate too. This is pretty. And a little candy cane up here. The message on the inside of this one says, Happy Holidays and Best Wishes for a Wonderful New Year. That's fun. And the back is brown, just like the background of the front of the card. You have a navy blue stripe here and a slightly thinner stripe down here, and then it's just white above that. It looks very cozy and fun for the holidays. There's a nice one. Look at the pretty plaid background. We're going to be doing a wreath, not right now, but hopefully soon, that has kind of that red and black plaid theme to it. Yeah, I think it's going to look cool. And you have this nice little reindeer, and it says Merry Christmas to you. And you will see that behind that, that is an actual piece of ribbon right there that is attached to the card. And it's cut in a dovetail style, just like when we make wreaths. We dovetail all of our ribbon like that. So these two pieces are attached separately to the card, as well as the reindeer, who has a pretty little felt scarf in red with gold glitter down here at the ends. Looks like he's standing in the snow, and it says, Merry Christmas to you. And on the inside of the card, it says, May this special time of year bring you joy and happiness. The back of the card has red and black plaid as well. And it almost looks like wood up here with a gold, a wide gold border along the bottom of the envelope, the flap of the envelope. And I really love that these are self-adhesive so you don't have to lick all these envelopes, which I always feel is just kind of gross anyway. <laughs> But so with the adhesive, you just pull the little strip, the little wax paper strip off and just close it. It's so much better. Oh, no, I do like the colors of this one, but it doesn't beat the Volkswagen bus. But look, look at the beautiful blues. I love that. Oh, it looks like a, a cold, snowy dawn or dusk like the sun's just coming up or just going down and sometimes when it's snowy like that everything kind of gets that pretty blue look to it oh it's nice especially when the sun's going down if it hits that snow just right it can look kind of it's just like everything looks blue and it's so cool i love it and we have our two deer and they're looking at us We've got the baby deer and the mama deer and in the background, back way back there, you can see houses. And there are layers, like these trees have blue glitter on them, and they are attached separately to the card. You can see the thickness of it right here. It's, I mean, there are, that's all the layers of this picture. So it really stands out. I like that. Now the message inside of this card says, May the wonders of the season make this holiday the happiest of all. And on the back, it's blue. And we can see the houses again up here across the top of the flap of the envelope. And all around it is this pretty gold shiny border. It goes all the way around the flap of the envelope. Very cool. I, I just, I love the blue theme of this card. It's so pretty. I like that. You know, I did one of my Christmas trees in sort of a light blue like that and silver a couple of years ago, maybe. Yeah, it was really pretty. This one goes this way. Now, this one is kind of simple, but I like it. It's just like a mason jar and it's just very plain. Lots of beige and silver. You can see that this, the lid up here is a shiny silver and it looks like Looks like the lid is a little bit off. I don't know that it's supposed to look like that, but attached to the lid is a little card that says Happy Holidays, and it looks like it's full of pretty snowflakes. And the message inside says, Recipe for Happy Holidays, two cups of love, one cup of friendship, one barrel of laughs, stir together and enjoy. 
Oh, that's sweet. And the envelope itself is white and you can't really see it, but there is, um, there are little stars. They're gray. They're quite faint. There's no glitter on them or anything, but there are these little gray snowflakes. I, th I think I said stars. They're snowflakes. Little snowflakes down here, but they're very subtle. Across the bottom of the flap of the envelope is some iridescent glitter that is also so understated that you probably think I'm lying, but it's, it is there. It's right across here. It's very subtle. This is sort of like that modern farmhouse style where like everything is white unlike any actual farmhouse that has ever existed. If you've ever been in a farmhouse, it doesn't look like these suburban houses that people have decorated. This is very modern farmhouse. I, I don't hate it, but I don't especially, it's just not me, I don't know. I wanna look at the Volkswagen bus again I am, I am, I don't think I've ever said this before. I'm actually super duper tempted to keep this card and not give it away. I may do that. Okay. Oh, wow. This one's cool. Look at now. This one is smaller. You're going to see that this one is not as wide as some of the other cards. This one's kind of square. This is another card that folds out and is blank inside. This is going to fold out and look like a little street, like a little, I don't know, like, you know, going down the street and you have the, the buildings on either side that are kind of high up, you know, very pretty. And off in the distance, you can see a pretty Christmas tree with red ornaments on it. Oh, and down here, it's like a fence and it says season's greetings. And then on the back, it also says season's greetings across the flap of the envelope. Now up here it looks like we have beaded cords, like Christmas lights. Perhaps when you fold it out, it's gonna look like strings of Christmas lights running along the tops of the buildings. I don't know. That's really pretty though. I like that. Very festive, very Christmassy. And the next card is another happy little snowman. Then has this pretty red background to it. Down here at the bottom, down on the ground, we have a little present, a green present, and some little bits of holly as well. <laughs> snowman even has some holly on his hat. He's sad because he can't reach that present. And there's that red bird again, another little cardinal. The snowman has three little black buttons here, and they are actual buttons. They're little plastic buttons attached to the snowman, who is attached to the card. And he has a pretty red plaid scarf. And the message on the inside of this card says, Enjoy the wonders of winter this holiday season. Down the back, we have red and white. And down here in the corner, we have the present again and the little cardinal. And oh, there is um, some iridescent glitter along the bottom of the flap of the envelope, but it's, you can't really see it, but it's there. And it's very subtle. And on this one, we have nutcrackers. We have four nutcrackers. And they are very 3D, like these are multiple layers of things on here so it's going to look like they're just coming out of the card. They, you can definitely feel the layers of the nutcrackers on here. Oh my gosh, they all have their little mustaches. <laughs> they're so cute. They're standing in attention. Down here you can see at the bottom of the card is, is kind of finished. It's like a scalloped edge to it. And this nice pretty gold border down here too. Oh, I think this is the first one we've seen with nutcrackers. The message on the inside of this card says, Season's greetings to you at this special time of year. And on the back, you're going to see a cartoon depiction of the four nutcrackers on the back. And then they have a pretty shiny red border all the way around 
the flap of the envelope with their little faces on it. So it's little nutcrackers and it has a pretty blue background. Oh, this one is especially sparkly. Look at this one. Ooh, we have a sleigh full of presents. Oh, what could they be? And they're all wrapped and they're metallic. They are so shiny. They are so shiny. And we have this pretty blue glitter background to it. Wow. Oh my word. And then we have these pretty trees here. It's just gorgeous. And it has this wide silver border all the way around the card. It's gorgeous. And the message on the inside of this card says, hoping you get everything you wish for this Christmas. And look at the back. The back has this pretty light blue um, part here. The flap of the envelope has this wide uh, silver border with white snowflakes. And above that is a red shiny metallic border. So colorful. Look, there's a little teddy bear sitting up there. <laughs> I love the texture of these cards. It's just Oh, it's just so neat. They're extra special. Oh, now this one is different. This one is definitely different. Look at this one. I think this card actually comes with instructions or something. I don't really know what we're supposed to do with it. I think when it folds out, it's supposed to be like an old TV set. And see, it has like a vintage, like a Christmas program that comes on. It says, Merry Christmas live from the North Pole, filmed in tinsel tone, filmed in tinsel tone, <laughs> like technicolor or technochrome or whatever. So you're going to fold this card out and it is blank inside. So it's just going to look like a little TV at Christmas time. And it's going to fold out and look like an old, like one of those old cabinet TVs, you know. Yeah, so it is blank, and on the back, we have some little houses with snow on them. And the rest of the, the envelope is just brown. That's adorable. And on either side here, we have stockings hanging from the TV. I don't think I ever saw stockings hanging from a TV. Now this card is another smaller one here. You can see that it's, you know, it's kind of square. It's not as tall as the other cards. This card is a general store, and it's remarkably detailed. Look at all that detail. And these, of course, these parts are attached separately. There are a bunch of different parts attached here. Wow, it looks like you have reindeer going across the top of the general store sign. There's snow everywhere. We have our little nutcracker soldiers in the front. They're out there shoveling snow. <laughs> So this card doesn't fold out, it's just smaller than the others. And the message on this card says, enjoy the warmth, wonder, and magic of the Christmas season. Oh, I love it. And on the back, see it again, it looks like the front with the light blue and the snow falling. And again, we have the general store sign on the flap with the reindeer going across the top of the sign. That's, that's cute. It's very, very detailed. I guess that's why it's smaller. And this card here, look at that. This one looks like vintage ornaments. See, it's like, well, they look like vintage ornaments to me. It looks like the ornaments my grandmother used to have. My grandmother had one of those, like a real vintage aluminum Christmas tree, like when they first came out back in the 50s or whatever. She bought one back then and she still had it. And she would put it up every year and I loved that tree. It was so pretty. It was silver. And she would put ornaments on it like this and I thought it was just the prettiest tree I ever saw. I don't know what happened to it when she passed away. But I really, I really wish I had that tree. It was so pretty. It wasn't big. It was, it was like a tabletop tree and she would put it up on the buffet in her little dining room area, in her dining area every year. And she put like a red tablecloth or something under and it was so, I just thought it was so pretty. It was so shiny. 
and she would she just had old ornaments that she probably bought at the same time she got the tree and you know they were pretty old but they were I thought they were beautiful and at the top of each of these ornaments is a little silver bow that's attached separately and we have white snowflakes kind of in the background and the message on this card inside this card says may your home be filled with warmth and beauty this Christmas and the back is red and we have this nice wide silver border here and little snowflakes too that one's cute it reminds me of my grandmother oh here's a Christmas package look at this international mail we have stamps all over it reindeer express 12.25 stamps all over it we got our christmas stamps on here and it says the north pole post office do not open until december 25th you've been checked twice and been found to be nice by s claus authorized a signature so by airmail from the North Pole, you have your package. And the message on the inside says, a special delivery of Christmas cheer and happiness all through the year. Oh, and on the back we have these pretty red and green stripes, just like the, the border around the front of the card. And we have all our little stamps and everything down here too. And this wide metallic red border across the, the flap of the envelope. That's quite charming. Oh, this one's cute. It has candy canes attached to it. Also on here is a pretty, it's a real bow. It's made of ribbon. It's green, pretty green bow. And we have these little green glitter covered holly leaves and berries. And it looks like little sprigs of pine down here. And it has a little tag attached to the um, the candy canes that says season's greetings and in the background are little silver stars and the message for this one says may you have the sweetest Christmas ever <laughs> well, that would definitely be a sweet one with all those candy canes and the back is kind of a dark red with again the silver stars up here and then this silver border along the flap of the envelope mm. That's neat. This one looks like it might, I believe this one folds out. Yeah, it does. It's blank inside. This one is going to fold out to look like a Christmas tree. Look at that. Oh, and it has, we have Santa wearing glasses. I don't think I've ever seen Santa with glasses like that. It's like the glasses Mr. Peabody used to wear. Mr. Peabody. Like the Rocky and Bullwinkle. It makes me think of Rocky and Bullwinkle. I think Mr. Peabody cartoons were part of that or something. And he had, I think he had glasses kind of like that. Anyway. Yeah, so we have Santa with a penguin. And they're decorating the Christmas tree. And the penguin has a little tray of ornaments. I thought it was a little tray of candies or something. But I believe it's ornaments. And there's no message inside because you're just going to fold this out and just display it like a little fold out Christmas tree. That's a pretty star up on the top. That's a big tree. I mean, look, it's way bigger than Santa. And then on the back, oh, look. The back of the card is very cheerful, too. Look at how shiny it is. It says Merry Christmas. And it has these shiny red letters. The red ones are shiny. The green ones are not. And this red shiny border here. And then red and green down here. See, when you open this one, you're just going to be able to fold it out and display your little Christmas tree with Santa and the penguin. Yeah. And this is our last card for today. Oh, I like it. Look, it's little birds at a bird feeder. Oh, I love it. I have two bird feeders in my backyard and I love watching the birds out there. This kind of looks like my bird feeders. I have two of the um, droll, I think they're called droll Yankee bird feeders. They're supposed to be squirrel proof. I sent them some pictures of the squirrels 
hanging. They jump up and grab the hang the feeder and hang on it and like knock food out of it somehow and then get down on the ground and eat it. <laughs> you can't outsmart a squirrel. They're smarter than you think they are. They act like they're insane, but they're actually good problem solvers. So, but yeah, if there are no squirrels here, we just have some birds. Look, there's another cardinal. And some little birds here. They look like chickadees. This one looks like a chickadee down here, this little one. This little brown one, that's one of them. Looks like a park, what we call parking lot birds. Pine siskins, but we see them mostly in parking lots, eating soggy french fries and stuff. But it's, this is a nice little, it's like a, like a little cutout with a frame around it. And it's got snow on it. Oh my gosh. They're happy with their little bird seed. And the message on the inside of this card says, wishing you peace this holiday season. Well, if you've ever watched birds fighting over a bird feeder, there's not a lot of peace out there sometimes. They spend more time fighting than they do eating the bird seed. That's why I have two. I, I thought it might be a little better, but we get so many birds sometimes. They're just all over the place out there. And on the back, it's just plain white, but on the flap of the envelope, again, you're going to see a branch like the one on the tree that's holding up the bird feeder, like this branch right here. It's a pine tree, I do believe. It looks like a little pine tree. So it's just happy little birds at a bird feeder. Oh, I love it. And that's all the cards. We have looked at all of them. That should have been 38, but I was not counting. So I think out of all of them, I have to say this one is my favorite. And I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this card. I love, I love this card. But just that one. I, I don't think I've ever kept one before, but that one... I love that one. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed getting to see all these cool little Christmas cards. And of course, we have all the cellophane crinkles to go along with it, which are always very nice. Thank you again so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon.